So often when people think about the mission on technology planning, it's hard to understand. It's a bit abstract. It's, it's not a normal way of thinking about tech planning. And they, they often jump to really, really big projects, really big impact kind of big uh, thoughts. Like an example of that would be like Ushihiri, I think is the name of the tool, where they uh, did a lot of mobile phone work and matched, what they were able to do is match where a person was, the need they have, and then identify where the closest place was where they could get that need met. So if they needed medical or if they needed water or if they needed, so it was really tech driven, very mission driven, very right on spot with what they were trying to finish and do. But that was really tech heavy because it was a big, big project to develop the app, test the app, get it out there, get it implemented. It doesn't have to be that big. When I think of a missional one for the YMCA where I used to work, a very simple example is a health app. If they're trying to do healthier eating, so they don't necessarily have enough time to spend with all their members, but uh, by maybe helping the members narrow down three or four apps that they would recommend people use, maybe doing some trending of the app data, doing an analysis, um, then that's a great way to pull in a missional kind of base technology that goes on above and beyond what they're able to do internally. Another thing that the, the YMCA was able to do is a healthy living is a, is a big part of it. So building an online community where members could support each other in their health goals. So that's a very simple missional tech. It's, it's above and beyond what would be part of a strategic plan because that's not in support of work, it's not in support of a staff role, it's not, it, it may not be tied directly to, to a strategic goal. Uh, my organization, the, the big thing is, we, our mission statement has a part in it that we say it's about lasting change in workforce development. So we don't want to get them a job, we want to get them a job and have them keep the job. And having been in the job market long enough, we analyzed that and thought it through and we said the only way you can keep a job and keep growing is to continue learning once you've left the CARA program. But they've already left our program, so how do we equip them once they've already left? So we're really looking at some opportunities to equip them how to use e-learning. So if we can kind of incorporate some e-learning and the experience of e-learning into our current curriculum, then we may be able to equip them to continue doing that after they leave. And I think so it's, the missional tech planning it, it, it is abstract and weird, but what you really do is you just look at your mission statement, pick out key phrases that extend beyond the reach of what you're able to do, and then kind of match that with emerging technologies that are out there. You know, in the, the little fun activity that we're gonna do in the session is that we're gonna give you a mission statement and then we're gonna give you these little cards that have mobile, website, those kind of things on it and then you'll be matching them and then you'll have to kind of brainstorm, oh, how can I use this tech to meet the mission need? Um, yeah, so that's missional.